welcome to today's Rhapsody of Realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyahilome, Sunday 13th December 2020, inspired and afire always. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 Since the day I received the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues, I have never run out of inspiration. The key is fellowship with the Holy Spirit. That is the secret of always being inspired and a fire for the Lord. The Holy Spirit should be your number one driving force in life. Without Him, life is a drag, dull, empty, and vain. Christianity without the Holy Spirit is mere religion. In fact, it's very difficult to win souls without the Holy Spirit. As a child of God, being filled with the Holy Spirit every day isn't negotiable. You have to know Him, walk in Him and with Him. He has to become a constant part of your life. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Your understanding of the word will drive you to live every day of your life for the expansion of God's kingdom. Nothing else will make sense to you in this world. Accept the things of Christ. With the word of God in your spirit, and coming forth from your mouth, you can serve the Lord faithfully and bring Him glory now and in the ages to come. Have a wide and voracious appetite for the Word. Your love for the Master will compel you to tell the world of His saving power. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 14 says, For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. The Apostle Paul is showing us the motivational force behind his overwhelming passion for the Gospel. It was the love of Christ. You can't love Him and not be prepared to tell the world about it. You will wake up every day inspired and aflame to serve God. Praise God. Confession My participation in the Gospel, my passion for it spread around the world, remains indomitable. God has called me and given me a divine mandate. I maintain my focus and I am committed to that calling, compelled by the love of Christ, to do the things that I should do on earth. In Jesus' name, Amen. Further story, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 8 to 9, Romans chapter 12, verse 10 to 12. Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear unto all. Have a blessed day.